A few weeks ago, we traveled to Joburg to spend a weekend with a couple of couple friends, also known as a pair of paired dates, in celebration of finding the love God has blessed us and others with. In today's video, we chat with soon to be married Lisi Mapumulo and Dylan Niemont about interracial relationships and the stereotypes, sometimes true, often false, connected to them. Hope you enjoy the video and if you do, please subscribe. Also, comment your thoughts on these stereotypes or stereotypes we didn't mention down below. So here we are and we are joined by Lisi and Dylan today, couple of couple friends and we are going to be talking about interracial stereotypes because they are also black and white like we are. So <laughs> That's in case. If you guys are just nice. <laughs> If it was just a bunch of white people, what would be the point? So we've done this before, but the reason we're doing it again is because that was just our opinion. Let's hear what other people have to say. So we're going to start with the stupidest, most basic one. Sola will give her opinion and Lisi will give her opinion because you guys are going to relate. All white people's hair all over the place, constantly. Yes. yes. You say yes. yes. Is this something that you experience at all? Oh. <laughs> But let's just agree that it's not black people's hair that's making the round. Whatever this is. Whatever this is. No, I would have to disagree with that one. I don't know. I think it has long hair. Healthy hair. Oh, thank you, so long. Obviously, you look like you have the strongest yeah. hair. So that's no, his hair is if it's hair, maybe it's the hair of the cats. The hair so of the blankets. Okay, are they white people cats? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I would want to see a cat with like black people hair on its body. Like it's. Yeah. They are Caucasian cats. Yeah, well, <laughs> mean. So the second point that was submitted to us, actually, I wrote it today. <laughs> <is> <laughs> is interracial couples were attracted to their partners first and foremost because of their race and appearance. So in other words, well, I firstly went to Suela, approached her because it's a black girl. Dylan approached you or you approached Dylan first and foremost because of his race and his appearance. No. What was the first attraction? What did they say? Yeah. Yeah. No, people remember do that. For instance, people think that I go for black girls, so then I ended up with Suella. Whereas with you guys, but then that's exactly the thing. With you guys, it's purely personality based. Obviously, yeah, yes. physical attraction and everything, mm -hmm. but it wasn't a thing of I'm gonna look for a white man and I found. No, no, no. Interestingly enough, when I was in high school, I most of my crushes were coloured men. Hmm. Um, Something you want to tell us, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> I also had a couple of crushes on a few black guys as well. Mm. In fact, the one that really like hurt my heart and my feelings <laughs> was a black guy who was not into me. So no, I don't. I don't. Okay, but that, 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 so that's the thing. I think there are cases of it though where guys, you know, oh, I like them. Yeah, no, it, it's not. Mm. Really, it's not a finish. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's not a finish. It's like. Or oh, white people dating white people. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just such a. Like, do they go out from. I like the white people. Like, like, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. but that's a stereotype that should be get gotten over because I feel like anybody runs the risk of being in an interracial mm. relationship. Mm. You might just find yourself in it. Yes. And then the third point is it's almost always a white guy and a black girl. We're not helping the stereotype, but that's what I've perceived. I've well, perceived that so often. Because with our assignment followers as well, like in the international ones, the wives are always black. Like you. Yeah. And, we, and you. <laughs> research what and wasn't that. What? You type in Google image or something. Oh, like interracial interracial couples, couples. Or is the opposite. But so you have to type in BWW. Yeah, I've seen that. Black, black woman, woman, white man. man. I know that. And guy. that's uh, yes, but no, interracial is usually a blonde white girl <laughs> with a muscular black man. I am not saying anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying this is what I found. I don't know if the Google results are still as true, but I think I think in real life I've only met. I'm trying to think. That's I've only met interracial couples who's a black woman and a Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Can you think of anyone we know in a different scenario? No. No. <laughs> so that's what that was that it's um, a great line though. But yeah, so in general, it's not something we can think of and we're not helping that stereotype. No, we're not. But it's out there on Google apparently. But black women, white men is a 
like there's okay obviously there is instagram pages for the opposite as well but the instagram page there's like there's a thing yes. surrounding this mostly yes yeah i don't know if we'll find that in south africa Cautious. wait wait well we have we have the police family yeah yes yeah, yes, thank yes, you. yes thank you thank you we go. there's I'm, I'm looking forward to there being a more mix but in general i just think it's because if you really go into it it gets a bit uh, mm. but if you look at it uh, but i'm looking for, it's going to start happening more and more and more and i'm excited for that mm. and then no matter their respective home languages the couple resorts to english as their first language in the relationship drifting away from their home languages what yeah. do you guys speak between the two of you english. english and what do we speak english what is your okay yeah. would you consider what would you consider your language mother tongue is really and but yours is english right mm. but that's what i we i will try and talk to him <laughs> in some zulu phrases just to just like it does it how No, because I don't even know what I'm saying, <laughs> but he does try. But yeah, that's true, and I do too. I'm really trying yeah. to learn, so I'm actually really trying to do, learn Afrikaans. My solution that I believe is, when we now have kids one day, we should raise those kids, kids as purely as possible in Afrikaans and Swana, and they'll figure out English. You don't live yeah, in this world without figuring out. Yeah, it's just learning yourself. We should have mm-hmm. school, mm-hmm. friends, on TV, anywhere. So in the house, mm-hmm. it will be easier to speak to them in... A different language though. Well, but I think it would have to be um, Zulu and English, English because <laughs> we don't have a third language. <laughs> Just Not the really. two. <laughs> would, you, would you teach your kids Zulu? Is that something you want to do? Yes, that's a priority. I would love my children to be those colored children that speak Zulu. <laughs> you know, you just gossip with my child and my child's like, I got you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's, a, there's a beauty in that. And finally, there's at least one member from each person in the relationship's family who disapproves of the interracial of the relationship understand mm. so for instance mm. in my side of the family i could uh, i can only think of one person who would be weird towards the fact that we're racial so well uh, there's probably people who are like secretly about that but not but not vocally about yeah. it no no none of my family if, if there is such a person they're not vocal about it so mm. no I so we don't know so, do yeah. you have any experiences of family members being against the fact that you're in an interracial relationship i have not experienced that at all at all honestly maybe they no. think it but no. i'm giving no. it so, <laughs> so we it. so we can agree then that all four of us are actually very blessed because we don't receive that backlash that you no want. no there isn't and i do my heart really does go out to couples who That's do not struggle that. Yeah. with that because i know it's even their like immediate family mm, like my dad with them yeah. being together mm. and um I think that can only make things harder, but we haven't experienced any racial thing yet. If, if if we did, I would expect it to come more from the white mm. side. But they've been absolutely amazing. But that's something actually that we should encourage people who are who have a hard for interracial relationships but are scared. Take the risk because there's a chance that it's going to be better than you think, or it could be worse. But if it's worse, it means you have something to teach your family. So mm. if that's a perspective, then take that risk specifically to teach them. Mm. Uh, I think it also depends on like how rooted you are culturally. Because if you are like mm, oh, a I, serious culturalist, yeah. then well, your family, then obviously they're going to have a problem with it. Because mm. I mean, you even have people in relationships. who are christian and jew for example and then there's a whole family clash yeah just because yeah, of that, it, yeah it depends on how strong your traditions or cultural black backgrounds or your spirituality or whatever it is that could also influence that mm-hmm. whereas for us everyone around us is super chill yeah same which is great any public uh like public people being like really like strangers i think mm-hmm. it would more like be maybe we feel the type of way mm. in certain public situations no, it's like he's, yeah. yeah i don't think necessarily people have done anything yeah. that's made us feel uncomfortable i think just there are some places in our country where we are more cautious and more aware mm. of the fact that we're in interracial mm. couples in other areas do yeah that's anything. great yeah. except that's... for like the naive questions like how do you secure yourself a white man yeah, yeah. Do you that's know? just people who don't know better yes <laughs> so but it's really cool to see that we've we're two examples of interracial relationships that have really had to the most part very easy experiences of mm. inter like for the most part the the problems you have as uh, in a relationship and we have is mostly just relationship problems mm-hmm. it's not 
black problems, white problems. Problem. Yeah. So the point is, interracial couple people are people too. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> yeah, we also poop. So. <laughs> 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 Anyway, that's it. Short one. Just wanted to get some other opinions so you can see there's more of us. We're not the only interracial couple in South Africa. I was not that Khaleesi rugby guy. But that's it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you to go subscribe to shit. You can decide for yourself. Thank you very much. Also, yes. subscribe to it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> subscribe at the blue. <laughs>